Christmas. They say it's better to give than receive. But this year, the giving isn't keeping up with the need. Come on, folks. Where's your donation? In the back, sir? At the Salvation Army, furniture and clothing donations are down 20% nationwide. But need is up. Last year, 6 million people asked the organization for help. This year, that number has almost doubled to between 10 and 12 million. Utility assistance, uh, mortgage payments, uh, providing housing, short-term housing. Nationwide, nonprofits received $306 billion last year. That's projected to fall by 8 to 10 billion this year. Of almost 3,000 charities recently surveyed, 35% have already seen a drop in giving. To make ends meet, nonprofits have been faced with a stark choice turn people away or fire some of their own staff. Susan G. Coleman's Race for the Cure has already cut staff by 16%. The Washington National Cathedral just laid off 30% of its workforce, a trend expected to spread. I don't see a recovery in the charitable sector from a financial standpoint for a good eight to 10 months. All through next year, essentially. Through most of next year. Just when Americans need help most. 50 new families a day are coming to this Virginia food bank. I have three children. I, I have no help. I pay my bills. I pay rent. Just to make ends meet, sometimes I have to come here. Each dollar donated here can feed up to eight people. Take that cash away and... We're going to run out shortly. Weeks? Weeks, yes. Clearly. Something has to give. Or someone. The American public has never let charity down because they're letting themselves down if they do. So they will step up to the plate. They will. We won't know the answer to that until January. Charities receive up to 30% of their annual giving right now. Kimberly Dozier, CBS News, Falls Church, Virginia.